Look, we all work hard for our money. So it isn't surprising to me that the most commonly asked question I get when it comes to computer repair is do I fix my computer or do I just replace it? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna answer that question for you. And with the extremely affordable cost of computers nowadays, my answer might just surprise you. Stick around. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott and I wanna be your personal computer guy. On my channel, I make weekly content including Windows tips and tricks, how-tos, hardware disassembly guides, important security and privacy information, as well as breaking news in the PC world. And I do it all in a language that even the most basic computer user can understand. So if any of this interests you, or you just wanna be a little smarter when it comes to computers, please consider subscribing to my channel. So in today's video, I wanna discuss the pros and cons of fixing your computer versus completely replacing it. There are upsides and downsides to each, and every person with a computer should know both sides of the equation before they go and spend their hard-earned money. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use my standard prices for my computer repair just so you can get a fair comparison on what it realistically cost for one versus the other. So let's say we have a customer with a five to six year old computer. That computer has a hard drive that is failing or is failed. Aside from that, their computer is fast enough to do everything that they need to do on a normal daily basis. More on this part at the end. So option one, for a replacement drive, I usually charge around $200. So that includes going on site, determining if in fact the drive is a problem and needs to be replaced, picking up the machine, bringing it back to my home office, backing up whatever I can get off of that drive, then physically replacing that drive, installing a clean copy of Windows on that drive, activating Windows, installing Windows updates, and reinstalling any programs that might need to be reinstalled like Microsoft Office or QuickBooks, etc. Then finally copying all of that data that I backed up back to the new hard drive and then returning the computer to the client. After that, setting up internet connectivity, downloading drivers to install printers, connecting wireless, then lastly letting the client do a quick test run to make sure that everything is exactly the way it needs to be and that they're happy. Now compare this to option two, replacing the computer instead of fixing it. So you're going to go to the store, you're probably going to spend around $300 on a decent machine, add roughly $30 of sales tax to that, plus the time that it takes for you to go to the store, wander around, look for a computer, try to figure out which one makes the most sense. And for most people, if you don't know the difference between one computer or the other, you base it just on price. So now you have this brand new computer that you bought at the store and you brought it home. What if you don't know how to set it up right out of the box? What if you've never done that before? What if you don't know how to connect to the internet? What if you don't know how to install your printer? And on top of all that, how do you get all your stuff from the old computer to the new one? Conservatively, I charge $89 for a new PC setup. I do all of that stuff I listed above except the data transfer. Depending on how many documents, pictures, videos, etc., that you have, that could run you about $150, which is about what I charge for your average complete data transfer. So you've now spent $300 on a new computer. You spent roughly $30 in tax. So if you don't know how to plug everything in, add another $100 or so for somebody to come set that up for you. And then add another conservatively $150 for someone to transfer all your stuff off the old one onto the new one. So now that $300 computer is sitting at about $565. Now compare that to $200 plus tax for a local computer guy to replace your bad drive and you'll see that Sometimes fixing it makes more sense. Now, the upside is that with a new computer, you are going to get a one-year manufacturer warranty. That comes standard with all brands across the board. You get one year right out of the factory. All manufacturers are also going to give you upgrade options where you can upgrade to two, three, or four years, anywhere from 25 to $150 per year per machine. The industry average usually runs about 75 bucks a year for an extended warranty. And that's if you don't do an accidental damage warranty. That's just if you do a standard parts and labor warranty. So make sure you add that number to the previous $565. So when I get asked this question, and it is every day, I list all of those numbers above, and then I simply ask one question. I say, let me just make this simple for you. When your computer is running like you know it can, are you happy with it? And if you're happy with it, then it makes sense to fix it. It's gonna be way cheaper and way less headache. Now, if the answer to that question is no, I'm not gonna be happy even if the computer's running correctly, then go buy a new computer. Cause I'd rather you have a new fast computer than me fix a computer for you and you'd be miserable. Chances are you really just wanted to upgrade and you really need an excuse and that's okay. But in that case, go spend the extra money, get a better night's sleep and know that you got what you wanted and now you're gonna have a fast computer that will last you a while. 
The only real difference between a repair and a replacement is the warranty and what it covers. Any reputable computer repair person is gonna warranty the products that they sell you, in this case a hard drive, against defects. So the real difference is, do I want a warranty that covers the entire computer? Remember, the computer that's been running pretty good for five or six years, do I want a warranty on a brand new computer or do I want to at least get a warranty on the part that I'm fixing and otherwise I'm a happy person and go on about my day? So in that case, what do you really have to lose by fixing it versus replacing it? Do your homework, shop around, ask questions, and know your numbers at the end of the day. You will have made an educated decision that will give you peace of mind and hopefully make your budget happy. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.